Hey, this is Dave from HouseParents.com. Today we're going to show you how to install a Whirlpool refrigerator and connect the ice maker water line. Ask yourself, how much of this would you be willing to pay to turn this a half turn twice? These are the tools that we'll be using today. Just a, a simple box wrench, vice grips, and a braided steel uh, water inlet line quarter inch. You can find these Eastman water lines on Amazon. Uh, we're Amazon affiliates and earn from qualifying purchases. Thanks a lot for uh, using the link and helping our channel. You can get them in multiple lengths. This is a 10 footer for about $12, $13. And you can get maybe a five footer for $7 or so. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, what you need to spend. Uh, that's all you need to hook up the line. Uh, the line itself has that rubber bushing in it. You can kind of see it right there. That rubber bushing is going to provide the seal that we need when we tighten this down. Um, pretty simple project. All we need is that line and a wrench, so let's get started. We got the refrigerator delivered and the guys dropped it right there. And obviously we didn't pay to have it hooked up, uh, but you could. It's a pretty exorbitant price for what we're going to show you. There's, uh, this is a new house and that's the ice maker water line uh, valve right there. And then this is the back of the refrigerator. And you can see here, this is the water line itself that goes to the ice maker and uh, has this protective covering on it. And when we get ready to hook it up, we'll just pop this off. And that's our, that's our threaded connection right there. And that's gonna go into that braided line I showed you. Here's a plug and we'll untape that and plug it in. Connecting this to the valve is, is pretty straightforward. It came with this compression fitting. If we were using a small a water line like that, we would uh, use this compression fitting, but we're not. Instead, we're using this braided line. So we'll attach it and the procedure is pretty straightforward. Yeah, put it on there and it's a hand tighten as far as you can hand tighten it. You got to put it on there to the point where you can't turn it any, any longer. We put our box end wrench on and we're going to turn it 180 degrees, which is a half turn. And that is just to snug it up against that rubber bushing in there that we showed you earlier. That's half of it done. All right now we take the protective cover off of our line that's attached to the fridge and we'll go ahead and connect this. Same thing as before. It's just hand tighten. To get on there as good as you can get by hand and then we'll take the wrench and do one more half turn and that's snug as it needs to be and now we test it next we're going to go ahead and turn on the water supply and check for leaks there the water supply is all the way on and you can look around it as expected there are no leaks check this end as well and the guide it says to go ahead and make sure it doesn't leak for 24 hours and so uh, we'll double check that in a day we'll go ahead and plug the fridge in and now that it's plugged in we get our controls lit up on the front we pressed option for fast cool and then ice maker we want to have ice maker on, so press it again, and it's on. And now it's just a matter of waiting for it to give us a little bit of ice. All right, there we've gone ahead and taped up the remaining water line, the extra. And remember when I asked how much you would have to pay to have that done? Uh, go ahead and look it up online. It's ridiculous. 100 or 120 to $130 is what the big box stores are going to charge you to do the very same thing you just saw me do right here. The entire job took about 10 minutes. Well, that's it. Not a very challenging job. It's a way for you to save a lot of money uh, by just turning the wrench a couple turns and pushing the refrigerator back in and setting the start controls. This is certainly something anybody can do and, it's, and it puts you on the road to saving a lot of money quickly. 
Thanks for viewing. Please subscribe. Hit the like button if you got anything out of this, and we'll see you next time.